Hey there everyone, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV and this is going to be a rather depressing review of Arsenal's 1-1 draw at Carrow Road this afternoon. A devastating result to say the very least and it epitomises what has been a very poor month for Arsenal in which we've only got one win against Dynamo Zagreb. Aside from that, we've done nothing pretty much. If we're seriously going to be taken as title contenders, we have to be winning these games. I can't seriously take us... I mean, I can't honestly say that we deserve to win the league if we can't beat Norwich away, a team that are possibly bound for relegation this season. And in that second half, we've made them look like world-class opposition. I mean, only Arsenal could do that. It is a devastating result tonight. An awful performance to that, especially in that second half. I think we only had about three or four shots on target, which against Norwich is abysmal. And we really should have won this game about three or four nil. But we can't seem to capitalise on other teams' misfortunes. United only managed a 1-1 draw at Leicester. We had a good opportunity to go level at the top of the league this evening. But unfortunately... As always, we haven't been able to do it. and along the way, we're losing our best players. We've lost Alexi Sanchez, we've lost Laurent Koscielny, and possibly Santi Cazorla went off with an injury as well. So that's three crucial players that have gone. We lost Francis Coughlin as well, and we're getting disappointing results to go with that. So really, this whole month has been catastrophic, and I mean, are we seriously going to win the league if this continues to happen? How are we going to get through this month, even though we've got Sunderland and Villa coming up? I mean, how well are we going to do in those games if we're without our best players? Losing Coughlin is one thing, but losing Laurent Koscielny is another. These are two players that are so pivotal to our defensive scenario, and we just have lost them in the space of a week. It's abysmal the way that these injuries are being dealt with, and you could argue that they've been rather unfortunate, but one injury that certainly wasn't unfortunate, and one that could have definitely been avoided, is the injury to Alexis Sanchez, who looks like he's done his hamstring, and he's possibly our best player, and we're going to lose him for what could be four to six weeks, which is... That's him out for the whole festive period and we've, we, that's the most crucial part of the Barclays Premier League. Everyone knows that. And to not be with our best player is, um, you know, it leaves us in a real dilemma. But he had a niggle against Dynamo Zagreb. We could have taken him off when the game was won. He needlessly stayed on the pitch. We could have taken him off. We could have given a bit more time to someone else. But unfortunately, he stayed on the pitch and it's costed us today. Uh, it's, it's, it's just not good. It's poor management in my eyes. And it's not the first time it's happened this season. The same thing happened to Theo Walcott. We've been without him. That's cost us. Giroud was awful today, to say the very, very least. He just looks complacent. He looks lethargic. He looks too much like he knows that place is warranted and he's got no one challenging him for it, which he doesn't, but that's down to not buying any outfield players in the summer. We are so threadbare. We're at the very bones of our squad now and I'm seriously worried going into this next couple of months, especially if we're going to be without four or five of our most pivotal players to the squad. I mean, it's just ridiculous how we're having to resort to players like Matthew Flamini and Joel Campbell. I mean, albeit they give it their best in these games, but they're not at the level required to challenge for the league if you're Arsenal Football Club. And I seriously doubt that we can go on and mount a serious title challenge, albeit where we are on the table, if this continues to be a recurring theme. You have to beat Norwich away if you're going to win the league. And we haven't done that today. And like I say, we've got a load of injuries on the way. But the game didn't start off in the worst manner. One thing that I was disappointed with was that uh, Mertzak had kept his place in the squad, but Gabriel did get a chance, as we saw a little bit later on, but we'll get on to that a little bit later in the, pre in the uh, review, should I say. But we got our first goal, Mirza Ozu again linking up with Alexis Sanchez. These two have been phenomenal for us in the past couple of games, despite the poor run of results. Uh, Alexis did really well, a kind of bulldogish style to get the ball back from the Norwich player. Plays in Mirza Ozu with an excellent through ball, and Mirza Ozu makes a delicate chip over John Ruddy to put it in the back of net. 1-0 to the Arsenal. And you think at that point, we're going to seize the game by the scruff of the net, we're going to take control of it. And like we were a couple of a couple of months ago when we were winning 3-0 against the likes of United, settling games, setting the tone for games in a matter of minutes by scoring goals, taking control. We're just losing games essentially in a matter of moments because not long after the Ozil goal, which was fantastic, we go on to concede through Graben, who has been just cast away by Norwich over the past well, the start of the season, really. He's been a nobody player at Norwich. And I even remember that a couple of months ago, he was running away from the hotel room. So this player... With all respect to Graben, he took his goal really well, but it's not. we shouldn't be letting players like that score against us. It was Gabriel's fault, I would say, for letting the man go far too easily. It was very poor by him, and he let. it was a really good finish by Graben past Petacek. But Gabriel came off of Koscielny, as we saw, and didn't really do himself any justice for this game. But, I mean, it must be difficult for him being put into such a pressurised situation after having not much game time. The last game he featured for us in was the 5-1 hammering at Bayern Munich, so not filled with... Uh, the most confidence and that partnership of Mertzaka and Gabriel doesn't really fill me with a lot of confidence and as we we see uh, throughout the course of the match how influential Koscielny is to our game and how much we really did miss him throughout the match. If, if Koscielny is still in the, uh, in the team then in my opinion that goal doesn't occur and we'd have still been 1-0 up and we could have gone on to capitalise on that and get a couple more goals but we went into half time 1-1. 
Second half, we've got to come out and we've got to get a couple more goals. You think we've got to win this game. It is a crucial uh, fixture that we've got to be getting the results in. But our midfield really let us down. I think Aaron Ramsey, Santa Cazorla just really didn't have their best games today. They looked really off the boil. But the fullbacks weren't that great as well. It wasn't Monreal's best game, although in that first half, probably our best player and one of few players that actually did work really hard in this game. Bellerin certainly didn't have his best game on the right-hand side. That's two Premier League games in a row now that he hasn't been overly convincing. And uh, yeah, I mean, we bring on Joel Campbell, we bring on Oxlade-Chamberlain for Aaron Ramsey, but they didn't really have much of an impact on the game. I can take very few positives from this match. One, one that I can take, though, is that Chamberlain looked decent for the time he was on the pitch. His crossing certainly seems to have improved, but Giroud, very disappointing up top. Joel Campbell couldn't really have any impact on the game. Ozil and Sanchez, the only two players that I thought really did uh, play well today. Mertzacker, I thought, was decent, but I mean... I'm clutching at straws, really, if I'm looking for positives from individuals. I mean, Mirza Oza was really the only one that uh, took his goal really well and looked to make things happen. There was a severe lack of creativity. We looked lethargic, we looked stale, and a real lack of movement, which is the most underlying concerning thing. But all these problems coming to the surface now, which really shouldn't be happening if we're going to challenge for the league. Fortunately, we are still in a good position to challenge for the title, but I mean, I seriously am questioning whether we've got the capabilities to go on and you know, go on to, to really do it because I, I seriously doubt it if we continue to drop points in games that we have to be winning. If we'd have won the games we should have done, Spurs, West Brom and Norwich, you know, it would have been a couple points clear at the top of the table. It would have been, have been significantly clear at the top of the table, but unfortunately we bottled it in a way and it's left us in a precarious scenario. I mean, the reality is if City get their act together, they could walk the league because no one else looks like they want to win it. We certainly don't because everyone's getting injured every other week and we can't win the games that we're meant to. But anyway, I won't ramble on too much about how disappointing Arsenal have been this afternoon and how far we can go in this title race because that could just get really depressing at a point. But anyway, those have been my thoughts on this evening's 1-1 draw at Carrow Road. Get your own thoughts in the comments box below. Please do follow me on Twitter at simplycookie underscore. If you do want to get involved in these videos, I will tweet your thoughts during the uh, review segment on screen so you can have your thoughts heard on the channel. As well as that, like the video, subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV if you're new, and as always, I'll be speaking to you very soon. We're here today to check out some Highbury memories. Normally, I'd go right and go that way to the Emirates, but today, I'm gonna to do a left and go back to where I used to go, a bit like a back to the future when I used to go to Highbury. <laughs> 